Someone once said, even airplanes take off against the wind, not with it. And that pretty much sums up Solana NFTs in the last couple of months. The wind in this case would represent the bear market, in which Solana had moments where it was cruising through. This makes it the best time to look at the top 10 Solana NFTs at the moment. Make sure to stick till the end to find out the three most loved NFT projects on the Solana blockchain, which include the so-called bored apes of Solana. First up is Blocksmith Labs, a collection of 4,444 hardcore-looking NFTs. Blocksmith advertises itself as a project with an aim to address real problems in the ecosystem, such as whitelisting. To solve this issue, they built a whitelisting management platform known as Mercury. On top of that, Blocksmith Labs NFT holders will be able to generate Forge Dollars, an ecosystem token that can be used to buy whitelist spots from the projects onboarded on Mercury. Blocksmith Labs was minted earlier this year at 2.2 SOL, and the floor price is now at 118 SOL. At number 9, we have the Catalina Whale Mixer, a project that aims to create an environment where holders can participate as a community and, well, make whale celebrity superstars. The team negotiated a deal with a Hollywood production studio to develop Whale Television, an animated adult comedy series where holders can cast their whales to be featured in the series. Beyond holding the cool-looking whales, the project aims to provide utility and exclusivity. For instance, CWM holders will receive exclusive access to airdrops and mints from Wagme Beach. Minting of the 5,555 NFT whales took place in late 2021 for one soul each, and the collection currently has a floor price of 33 soul. At number 8, we have Galactic Geckos, an NFT social adventure club featuring 10,000 warriors turned space racing geckos. The project tries to create an immersive experience for gecko holders through backstories and factions. Benefits of holding a Galactic Gecko NFT include access to giveaways, sponsored meetups, exclusive merchandise, etc. It's been a year since the collection was minted at 2 Sol, and its current floor price is 20 Sol. Next up at number 7, we have Cats on Crack, a collection of 6,969 coolest cats on the street. Each cat can be staked to earn Crack Dollars, an ecosystem token. Cat holders were airdropped Ket's milk bottles, which they can use to increase their staking yield to earn 1.25 times Crack dollars when staked. Some users speculate milk bottle, which currently has a floor price of 6 sol, will be used for mutation, similar to mutant ape serum, in the near future. Crack can also be used on the black market to participate in raffles and even auctions in the future. The Degenerate Cats were also minted at 2 Sol. The collection currently has a floor price of 36.97 Sol. Moving on, we have Orrery, the top-selling NFT P2E game on Solana. On the 31st of August 2021, 10,000 unique Aurorian NFTs were minted and sold out in just 3 seconds at the price of 1 Sol. A couple of months later, the game dropped, offering players a PvE and PvP experience, filled with character quests, along with turn-based combat rounds, and a diverse gaming atmosphere while allowing them to earn Ori Dollars. These cute little NFTs were minted at the price of one soul. The floor price of the collection currently sits at 24.9 soul. Next up at number 5, we have the Degenerate Ape Academy, which produced the first million-dollar NFT sale on the Solana blockchain. More on this in a bit. Degen Ape is a collection of 10,000 flashy, randomly generated ape avatars created by Degen Labs. Holders have an opportunity to breed and mint new apes and be a part of the Degen DAO. On top of that, they can elect student council members who can make proposals for the community to vote on. Members of the Degen DAO can earn passive income by staking Seoul via the Degen Infrastructure Core Services Validator node and can earn 6 to 7% APY with a 0.01 Seoul minimum staking amount. 
in September 2021, a Degen Ape sold for 5,890 soul, $1.1 million at the time, making it the first million dollar NFT sale on the Solana blockchain. The purchase was made by Moonrock Capital, a blockchain consulting firm. Degen Apes minted over a year ago at the price of six soul. The current floor price of the collection is 67 soul. At number four, we have OK Bears, the first ever Solana-based NFT project to break into the top daily trading charts of OpenSea, outperforming even Ethereum blue chip projects. The collection consists of 10,000 algorithmically generated bears, each with different background color, outfit, and expression, with some of these traits being rarer than others. Like most of the NFT projects we have just covered, OK Bears NFTs come with utility-like access to exclusive merchandise and live events. In August, OK Bears announced its first airdrop to the community, giving away 10,000 NFTs that can be redeemed for physical gold or cash equivalent in the last quarter of the year. Minting of the 10,000 bears took place earlier this year for 1.5 sol each, and the collection currently has a floor price of 67.5 sol. The second runner-up on our list is the so-called Crypto Punks of Solana, the Solana Monkey Business. It's one of the OG projects in the Solana ecosystem that launched its extremely limited Gen 1 Monkeys collection in June 2021. However, SMB was not an instant hit then. Come August, SMB had another go when they launched their next collection of 5,000 Gen 2 monkeys. This time, the monkeys sold like hotcakes. After the Gen 2 launch, Monkey Dow was formed to provide a community for holders. As one of the few Solana NFT projects that have stood the test of time, today, SMB's floor price rests at 200 sol a little over a year later after minting at the price of 2 sol. The runner-up on our list is Utes, the latest NFT project from the creators of the leading collection on Solana. This made it one of the most hyped collections on Solana, and therefore made it difficult to get your hands on a ute at the time of the mint. To get one, you needed to either be a holder of a D-God, or submit an application and get hand-selected by the ute team. In terms of utility, the project came up with the ute store, which is going to function as a place for artists to submit and list their own customized versions of traits that can then be purchased by other holders to use in their own NFTs. The 15,000 U NFTs were released with a mint price equivalent to 33 sol. The floor price skyrocketed to 130 sol. Last but not least to close off our list is D Gods, the standout in the Solana NFT space. D Gods is regarded as the BAYC of Solana. The projects are, however, different. For starters, DGods is a deflationary NFT project thanks to burning. When holders burn these NFTs through a special process, the NFTs don't disappear. Instead, they're converted into dead gods, a one-to-one -one fine art undead version of the original DGod. Note that dead gods is not a separate collection, but rather it contains the metadata of the original DGod. D gods can be staked to mine 2.5 dust dollars per day, whereas dead gods can mine three times as much. Dust dollars can be used on its Dusty's marketplace to buy exclusive whitelist spots for upcoming projects, merchandise, courtside tickets, and even blue chip NFTs. The collection was minted on October 9th, 2021, at the price of three sold. The floor price of the collection has shot up to 369.69 sol. In the last few months, a lot of money entered the Solana ecosystem through NFTs. But will the money stay? Or will people take their money out of the Solana ecosystem and bring it to the Ethereum ecosystem? Remember to like, subscribe, and follow us on all our socials for future alpha. See ya!